Hi guys, this is Technomath. I hope you all are doing good. So, I own this uh, first version of Mavic Pro. Okay. So when I um, was trying to start my drone yesterday, I got in some situation. I got some weird error messages. So when I tried to switch it on, it was all okay. But when I um, connected my mobile to um, the uh, drone by using their official application, well, it was saying the firmware was abnormal. And when I went further into it, it was showing some weird error message. So let me show you what exactly that error message was on screen. Okay, so I started my drone. It was all okay. And here you can see the latest firmware is showing abnormal. So when I click on that, it's showing this weird error message saying that calibrate the vision sensor with DJI Assistant on PC or Mac for higher accuracy. So let me show you what you all need to do to resolve this situation and get your drone back to the normal. Okay, let's get jump into the screen. Okay guys, so first thing you all need to do is to download the DJI Assistant software. I'll put the link um, of the download in the uh, description right below to make it easy for you. So go to the DJI website. Okay. So from DJI's official website, go to the support section and select your uh, drone's model. So I'm getting issue with my Mavic Pro. So I'll select Mavic Pro. So once you select uh, the Mavic Pro, scroll down and uh, go to the downloads section. And uh, here you can see the version of uh, softwares are available for downloads. If you are running Windows, then you can download the Windows version of the software. And if you are running Mac, then you can download and install the DMZ file from here. So I'll just go ahead and download this DMZ and install this software, right? So I already have installed this software, so I'm not going to like give you the detailed information on how to install this software. We just go ahead and install this software and we'll move ahead with the rest of the process. So now that you have downloaded the software and installed it on your Mac or Windows operating system, it's time to launch the application. So go to the launchpad and select your application assistant. Now it will ask you to connect your drone to the computer. So let's see how we are going to do that. Now that you have installed the software, we need to connect our drone to the MacBook. Okay, so for that you need uh, these micro USB cables. Unfold your DJI drone. Once you unfold it, if you put the drone, uh, face of the drone uh, like this, uh, then on the left, left side of the drone, you find this little section you find this little section where you have to insert this cable at the other end of the uh, USB should go into your Mac or Windows whatever you are using so now launch the DJI assistant application and before launching the application, make sure that uh, your aircraft is connected your, connected to your system by using a USB cable. I have already shown you how to do that. Okay. Power on your aircraft. Then your DJI Assistant software will recognize uh, your aircraft's module. Uh, in my case, it's Mavic Pro. So just go ahead and click on Mavic Pro then the interface will show you the current firmware running on your system the software's current firmware 
we are not going deep into that uh, so just go ahead and click on calibration so once you click on calibration you will get three basic nice instructions okay read them carefully so the first instruction says hold the aircraft facing the screen okay click on next it says move to aim for the box click on next and do not fill the screen using the method above okay these are very basic instructions as soon as you read the instructions click on calibrate now and now it will show you a pattern on your screen okay lift up your aircraft and point the front facing ob obstacle sensors towards the screen okay and position the drone in such a way that the corners of the red block aligns with the corners of the on-screen box okay once both the boxes are aligned uh, a pattern is generated on screen okay and you need to make sure that you follow that pattern make sure your aircraft stays centered and just use your wrist to move along with the pattern on screen okay so once you get the screen means that the front facing sensor calibration is completed now it's time to calibrate the bottom sensors so click on start the downward camera calibration and then move your aircraft upside down like this follow the same process and try to align the corners of the red box with the corners of the on-screen box if the red box is bigger than the on-screen box you have to move your aircraft towards the screen of the computer once it's aligned it will create a pattern again and use your wrist to follow the pattern keeping your aircraft centered when you finished the software will calculate and apply the calibration settings you can put the aircraft down and wait for the progress to complete make sure the aircraft battery level is sufficient and data cable is still connected to the computer After the calibration is completed successfully, please click on finish. Thank you for watching. So that's all guys. Uh, this will resolve your issue and you can get your drone back into the sky. I hope you find this video helpful. If you are new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you.